WWF initiated and developed a series of pilot projects all across Europe, north, south, east and west, to prove that business and nature can coexist. And in fact, the process was simple. First, we identified the shared motivations of communities, landowners and businesses. Then, we looked at ways of harnessing these motivations with nature. And it works. The projects have now started to provide jobs, income and business opportunities, whilst at the same time, conserving or restoring nature. In this short film, we will look at just one of these project sites. Here, on the Tisza floodplains in eastern Hungary, we can see that coexistence in action. The project is set around the small village of Tisza Tarján, along the banks of the river Tisza, and offers a good example of how business and nature can come together to solve a variety of problems. In doing this, it has delivered results which boost the triple bottom line of communities, companies and the wider society. Social benefits, financial profits and environmental gains. This is what the story is principally about. Everything you can see here is a non-native and highly invasive plant called Amorpha. There's been practically nothing else growing in the Tisa floodplain since this aggressive newcomer first colonised the area. Our challenge was to get rid of it in a way that earns revenues for the people living in this area and benefits nature too. Like many of the best solutions, the answer was simple. The amorpha is cut, thus freeing the floodplain of this harmful plant. But the cut bushes are not thrown away. They are bundled up by the workers and then transported to a nearby power station, where they are burnt as biomass for green electricity production. This is not only good for the climate, it's also good for Tisatarian since they receive income from the sale which is reinvested into their environment. Land cleared of Amorpha is then repopulated with grazing animals, Hungarian grey cattle and water buffaloes, which have quickly re-established the former ecological balance on the grasslands. These grasslands used to be valuable for their biodiversity, but are now becoming rich in a wide variety of species once again. Of course, these animals also generate income, this time for the farmer who looks after them. Not only that, but they also eat the young amorpha shoots, preventing it from recolonizing the grassland. Part of the cleared land is planted with native fast-growing willow trees, which are also good for biomass, and which will be sold in time to the power station for profit. Thus, the mechanism becomes a cycle, with benefits accumulating at each consecutive turn for people, business, and for nature. In this way, WWF and its partners have transformed the landscape economically, ecologically and socially. With new jobs, new profits and new nature, the village of Tisa has set out on a green development path. There are now plans to become self-sufficient in heat energy and to develop ecotourism in the newly restored floodplains. And what's more, there are thousands of hectares of amorpha along the Tisa and its tributaries, so this project is just the beginning. Now, investment is needed to expand the scope providing more jobs, more opportunities and more nature. And not just that, but a return on the investment itself. The Hungarian project is just one of several started by One Europe, More Nature. Elsewhere in Europe and North Africa, partnerships have been developed with large supermarkets, brick companies, farmers, tourism service providers, cooperatives and other business sectors. And always with the same goal and the same way of working solving environmental or social problems in a way which is good for nature, good for people and good for business. Because when nature returns, we can all win. We believe we can do the same for your business. All it takes is a phone call or an email.